Hey guys, it's Jeremy Carlson. I am the current owner of Crispy Cones, located in Rexburg, Idaho. I wanted to do this small video for you guys so that you can get to know me more personally and the business and kind of the beginning hardships that the business has had to go through and how young entrepreneurs, even in college, can start successful businesses. So we have a myriad of questions that, has been, that have been sent to us and I'm just gonna go one by one and answer them. They'll be quick. And I hope that it will inspire you to start your own business and I really hope you guys can really get to know my business more and where we came from and how it came to be. Why did I start this business? So basically, I went on my mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in the Czech Republic in around 2015 to 2017. And in the Czech Republic, they make these cinnamon sugar breaded cones with ice cream in them and with fruit in them. And I thought that was genius. And I've never seen anything like it before. People loved it there. And so I decided, you know what? I am going to bring this back to the United States. And immediately that moment on my mission, I said, you know what? I'm gonna finish out my mission, but right after I'm going to start this business. And so I started this business because one, I had a vision. I saw a market for it and I had a really good feeling about it and I wanted to learn and grow. And so as a freshman at Brigham Young University, Idaho, I went to town. Basically, the hardships that I had, oh, I could go on a freaking list, a huge list. But the main hardship that I had was overcoming loneliness and overcoming the feeling of being alone when starting this business. I had this idea and I wanted to share it with my friends and I would share it with a lot of people and a ton of people said, don't do it. There's so many businesses that flop in Rexburg. It's not gonna be a success. You're gonna have all these different hardships. You don't have the money for it. You're still in college. Why, why not wait? And I remember going home a couple times and literally just crying in my bathroom. And I was so upset because I felt like I was alone. And as an entrepreneur, only entrepreneurs really understand is at the beginning of their entrepreneurial journey, they are alone and they are their most number one motivator. And I had to find that within me. I had to find out who I was as a person, what kind of business owner I wanted to become. And I had to overcome loneliness and self-motivate myself every day, standing in the mirror saying, you can do this. And that was probably the hardest thing for me. risking everything that I had. I risked all my money, I risked all my time. I was a freshman at BYU, I remember, and I had to get two jobs. I was teaching English in the night, and I was driving Lyft in the evenings, and then I would work on my business in between classes, in class, and then I was also going to class and taking exams while starting this business. And I had to figure out time when I was going to grow this business. And I just remember thinking, you know what, if I can start this business as a freshman in college, I can do anything. And I motivated myself that by the end of that first semester, I was going to have my first business. We were going to be up and running. I was going to have my first employees. And if I failed, then I failed. I learned something from it. So I remember meeting with my first two employees. And I remember meeting with them and saying, hey, we might not be in business after two weeks but just risk it with me and everything might just work out. I don't know, we'll see. And they, they were super awesome, Josh and Hannah. And they said, you know what? We're willing to risk it with you, let's do this. And on opening day, it was just us three working and there was a long line for grand opening, about an hour and a half wait, and I got a ton of bad reviews online. I had to overcome the hardships of growing a small business. You're going to get negative feedback from almost everyone. You're going to get, you're going to have to deal with things constantly going wrong. Your product not being exactly how you want your product to be. And I had to overcome the fact that that was okay. I was just gonna figure it out. And so I started with those two employees and we went to three and to four. And this upcoming season, we're about to have 15 employees. And so I often think about what if I didn't risk this? What if this business didn't come to be? 
what if I just waited till after college? Or what if I just waited till I had money? And the honest truth is you don't know until you try it. And the best feeling is knowing that this business is providing for 15 other people and they're benefiting from it and you're benefiting from it and I've learned a ton from starting it. But it wasn't easy and you have to be your self-motivator. The best advice that I can give to a young entrepreneur is if you have an idea and if you have a vision and if you want to create something, don't listen to anyone else. Just listen to your gut and to your feeling and do it. The best advice that I can give to you is to understand it's normal to feel lonely. It's normal to feel self-doubt. It's normal to think, oh my gosh, I'm going to fail and I'm going to lose all this money. But the longer you wait, the worse it is. Things are going to happen with your business when you start it up. But you cannot give up. You have to be your self-motivator and you have to know, okay, you know what? This is going to be hard, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to love it and I'm going to fail and I can't wait to fail and everything will just work out. Can't wait to meet you guys. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you soon.